Hey guys, this is Animator Rattles here, and I'm coming to you with another Minecraft Forge Mining tutorial. This time, we will be teaching you how to make your own block. And I will have a separate tutorial, and I will have the link of that in the description below on how to make the texture for it. Alright, so here we go. So, you're going to go right here, and enter in Public Class Mod Tutorial, and you are going to type Public Static block emerald oh well, not emerald okay let's do like um let's do tutorial block tutorial we'll just do that for now making a new block and we will also have to import block from minecraft and all your imports will go up here so then you are going to make sure that your cursor is on your thing right here and you hit this new class and you're going to do block tutorial or whatever your block name is finish this and then you can come up with this now you want to leave a space here for imports and you're gonna go right here and you're gonna do extends block which you're also gonna have to import for here and public uh, no, it's public block tutorial, and then you're gonna have to do int id. It's, nope. What did I just do? It's yeah. Super uh, id material. No, it's the FB capital. Material dot. And let's make it. Let's make it a. Kind of. Let's make it. Let's make it a. Yeah, it's hard. I don't know what to choose. Uh, whatever. I'll just make a rock. Okay, material that rock. And then, can we import this yet? Yes, import block. <sighs> All right. Semicolon to terminate the line. Now set hardness. So basically, what we're doing right here is we are just putting all of the basic like stats and or if you could call them that or um properties of the blocks so hardness is like how hard it is hey for rock it would take or anything take how long you have to hit it before it breaks do that I'm just gonna do okay I'll make it like 1f or how about point no yeah 1f here um set resistance so basically the resistance to explosions um set creative tabs you want this tab creative tabs dot this would be like what tab it is in creative we'll make it block right here um terminate line all right and now no it right here no, right here. You're gonna be doing at side only side dot client. And now this is for the texture file that you're gonna get. Public string get texture file. Boom. Let's import this. And now we need to do return. And then whatever your file is going to be. So mine's going to be tutorial slash blocks. No, I'll do tutor um, tutori tutorial. Oh my god. Tutorial dot. 
mod slash um, textures slash no I no I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do textures slash uh, tutorial dot png and then return and now we're gonna have to do at side only again side dot client nope client client this one right yeah and this is like what number is gonna be on your file thing like um your texture file my I forgot to do oh I'm so stupid pub public int get block texture from side int I and there we go and then one more public pub public Duh, stat, static. No, it's public int. Int ID dropped. Int I. No, it's yeah. Well, I'll do int I. Random, random, random. Int J. And then do this. And you're gonna have to import random here. Um, return, re return, and then you're gonna do mod, whatever your mod is. Tutorial dot. We'll do tutorial block dot block id. And in a later tutorial, I will show you if it's an item. What to do? And um, that's all for this. So you can save here. Um, change to tutorial. Oh yeah, we need to put in the things first. Okay, so now you're back at here. You're gonna delete that and do new block tutorial or whatever you named it right here. Then the ID number, make it two hundred. Then dot set block name. This is not actually the name of the block. No, it has to be a string. <sighs> not exactly the name of the block. It just uses it. I don't know why. And very important though that you do not duplicate any or else some naming issues will get messed up. Um, and now set step sound block block dot since it's stone I'll make it stone and then that now let's save there we go see now that went away and now in init right here you're going to want to on block registry registry and names these are just comments that you can put in it won't affect the code or anything it just just friendly reminder for the modder. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to register the block and you're going to give it a name. So, game registry dot um, register block and now, what the? Get out of my way. Tutorial. Okay, and then game, no, it's language. Language registry dot add name. Tutorial, you can type it. And then this is the name of the block. So it's going to be, I'll name it poop block. There. And that's pretty, oh yeah, one more thing. This is for like, if you want a special tool to break it and what kind of tool can break it so like for example iron cannot be broken by a wooden pickaxe 
it was kind of like that. So like maybe you're making a log or something, and you don't want it to be able to be broken by a wooden pickaxe. That's this is how you do it. So you're gonna do Minecraft forge dot set block harvest level tutorial tutorial tool class like pickaxe axe or something like that. I'll name it uh, pickaxe because that's what it is. Harvest level two. Um. Uh, oh yeah, this needs to be in parent. Uh, nope, not parentheses. Uh, quotation marks. And then end with that. Now this is like um. Now let me get out open Enum armor material or Enum tool material. Uh, I apologize if it has some of my gems mod stuff in it. Yeah, Enum armor material. No tool. I want tool. This is gonna be in a later tutorial where the heck is it it's right here okay yeah it has my gem mod stuff in it so right here the level of material this tool can harvest zero is iron slash gold one is stone two is iron and three is diamond so uh, I, th I think this is just gold or wood or something like that yeah this is wood or gold I believe one is stone Iron, diamond. So let's make it. Um, let's make it only be mineable by a diamond pickaxe. And I will show you guys once we get the textures done. Um, that this works. See you next tutorial. Bye.